Hi everyone, welcome back to U-Boat. Here we go with a fresh campaign. The guys are running around the yard trying to get all fit and uh, ready to go. Luis is loading up the torpedoes as we're waiting in port. And just to let you know, this is the latest build as of the 27th of June uh, 2019 as I'm recording this on the 28th. Um, so yeah, hopefully a lot of the gremlins, the little bugs and stuff have been resolved. If we zoom in... Is that Wilhelm Wolf? Please say that's Wilhelm Wolf still there. Um, we've got our Graf the captain, Kohler the first officer, the XO. We've got Newman, the radio guy, West the engineer, and we've got Luis, who's the tor torpedo guy, stroke engineer as well. So um, let's get the captain and let's see what we can do. Right, let's go straight to the warehouse. We've got six thousand um, monies to. Uh, to buy some spares. So first of all, let's get. I always re refuel, even though we barely ever use the, uh, the full fuel load. Um, so we got T ones and T twos. So let's get some T ones to begin with, because they are. They're cheap. And now look, you got to see a transfer time. You have to wait for them to be transferred. Uh, can we select? No, I can. No, I can't. Um, let's get a couple of T twos as well. And a T one. Right, so that's going to take some time, and in the rear we'll get a, a T1. There we go. So the torpedoes are going to be loaded in nicely, so you can see a change right there. Storage and items-wise, we've got four med kits, 20 um, potassium absorbers, 40 cheese, 40 fruit and veg, or, or fruit, really exotic fruits, uh, four spare replacement parts, and scrap metal at 10. Um, large caliper armor piercing ammo that would be quite nice uh, transfer all that oh oh wow that's a lot more expensive than I that's obviously each okay good to know um, looking down here we got two rebreathers which is good stuff and we'll probably leave it there total time for transport all goods will be two days 23 hours and 57 minutes good God Wow. Okay, what I'm thinking is maybe we won't... Can we cancel this? We can. Good. And we get our monies back. Right. Let's say, let's take... 10... Uh, 12. There we go. We've still got 739 because... We can't upgrade our ship yet, but... Um, if we go and have a look at the... Kapitän, das kann deine neue crew sein. Recruitment guy, we can hopefully get a. Uh, let's show me their files. Let me choose their next assignment. Let's see who we've got. Okay, we got Manfred Schultz, who's a leader. Let's get him hired. He's a brawler. That's just the kind of guy we need on our boat. Excellent. Choose crew. Uh, let's get an extra man on board. Let's get uh, Wolfgang Wagner. Yeah. A good name. So we've got a radio officer and a leader for our research, which is good. Quick, have a word with the leading officer to find out what our potential orders could be today. Let's have a look. And you can see this has changed. We've got uh, are there any orders from Admiralty? I'd like to ask a few favors. Go to HQ, which you can do from the menu, and uh, my crew needs a break. Available in seven days. So you can ask for your crew to get some time off and some. Uh, Sure leave. Right. Cardiff Docks, done that one. B Sector, we've done that a million times. I've had a lot of calls to join the port flotilla in La Spezia, it, which is Italy, isn't it? Um, so, it's kind of like, do you want to go and do Mare Nostrum, the Italian, the Italian port in the Mediterranean campaign? So let's give that a challenge. That's going to be hard. We've got to go past Gibraltar, which is going to be a real challenge. But let's, uh, we're up for it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Uh, what we can also do is uh, have a look at um, what we need. So these all look the same. Sonar, equipment, accumulators, improved toilets, hydrophone, ammunition, torpedoes, armor conning tower, snorkels, radar detector, military stash, reconnaissance, reconnaissance, military stash. That hasn't changed. Okay. We're going to get the um, radio officer to do that then. Let's get some radar so we can detect those aircraft and whatnot. Um... Let's set sail then. We'll have a look at the map. We are here currently. 
and this is our target to go yes all the way over here so um, we've got to go through Gibraltar which will be fun haven't been through Gibraltar yet I don't think so let's get out of here plan the route and we go oh this is Bay of Biscay, Grand Portugal, Southern Spain, and then we obviously come into um, Danger Zone through Gibraltar. Mediterranean Sea, and up there. Right, that's our route. Yeah, what we need to do is dig up half of France and do a channel through there, ideally. Big, big old um, U boat canal. That's what we need. But we don't have that, so. We're going to have to do this instead. Right, so let's get a move in. Forward one. Schneller, schneller. Here we go. Off to La Spazia. Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, we're coming up to Gibraltar and already we've had our first aircraft patrol go by. Uh, let's just send that in. Uh, we'll get some re reward for that. We'll try and get as much cash as we can. Um, yeah, aircraft was spotted. So, as you can see, we are coming into the uh, Gibraltar Strait here. Obviously, that's where the air base is and obviously... RAF Gibraltar, which is now obviously the, the main runway of Gibraltar. Or the main airport, should I say, of Gibraltar. Uh, tiny little spit of land out here, um, but yeah, there is a huge naval, huge naval base as well as an aircraft base as well. So it's going to be a challenge to get through here unscathed. But we'll do what we can. We'll just, what we're going to do is pop that away, and here you've got the depth um, gauge. So if we sort of plot the the, the course we're going, it's like two five hundred meters, two hundred meters there, which is okay. But as you get in here. Nine or oh, a thousand meters. Okay, so we do have depth on our side, so we could potentially move a little bit closer to this way, stay away from the base um, a little bit more because the depth is pretty good. Um, detection. Oh, there's an aircraft. Right. Auf zero tief again. Another aircraft. Patrolling this pretty, pretty vigorously. Hi everyone, we're coming up to Gibraltar here, uh, and look at this. We've got a couple of freighters there, which I thought, ooh, should we go for it? But then, Corvette, 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 oh, flower class Corvette, so they're bigger Corvettes, and it's like, crikey. This is absolutely swarming. Absolutely swarming with destroyers, or Corvettes, really. But, um, oh, man, this is going to be tough. This is going to be really tough. We've got another something here. I don't, this is going to be. If we can just get through this, this is going to be a miracle in itself. Um, fortunately, it's quite a deep channel, so we've got a little bit of play to get away from these guys should they detect us. But um, yeah, oh my goodness, this is going to be a challenge. We are close. I know, I know they're right there. I know. Don't t tell me about it. Um, Auf diese setzen. Let's continue trying to keep away from them a little bit. Or what we'll try and do is when they get forward a little bit, we'll cut behind them so we're hidden in their own pro propeller noise. Um, with these corvettes coming down here, we might be able to. Well, I don't know what this is here, but we might be able to sneak uh, well towards the coastline and hug the coastline a little bit. That's the plan. We'll see how it goes. We've only got 50 minutes of uh, oxygen. Obviously, we we'll stick the. Um, uh, absorbers into the um, filtration to turn the air again and hopefully get a bit more time but uh, yeah things aren't looking particularly good at this stage it is night time so that will aid our visibility but um, yeah yeah things are tough
Hi everyone, welcome back. Right, this this Corvette seems to be angry and he's firing. Spotlight's going north, but he's firing south towards us. Um, but he's nowhere near us, so I'm not sure if he's seen us or... He's not turning towards us. He was coming down here, then he's turned that way, so I don't know if he saw something else. Um, oh my god, this is a nightmare. This is not something that you should really do before you've got a snorkel and um yeah some better um air filtration um we ran out of air so we well we almost ran out of good quality air so we had to put 10 of the absorbers into the uh ventilation and get the air scrubber going just to uh replenish some of the breathable air um it's a challenge for sure uh we currently got blue uh lighting on to try and reduce the amount of oxygen intake um obviously Red helps the visibility, but as we're not really trying to see where they are, we're using the hydrophone to figure out where they are. Um, that shouldn't be too much of a bother. I uh, just need to keep an eye on this Corvette, see what he's doing. And crack, look how many bloody warships there are! All the little... Oh my goodness, we're not even we're not even there yet. Oh, this is going to be absolutely nightmare. It's absolutely nightmare. We're we're blasting as fast as we can. I'm trying to get through here during the night to give us half a chance because. There's a fair chance that we're going to run out of absorbers. Um, and we're going to need to come to Dexa Wash to get some fresh air open. Uh, fresh air in by opening in the hatch. So, um, yeah, I'm trying to go as quickly as possible. And then hopefully we'll get away from all this. We can surface and use the diesel engines and recharge the batteries. But the batteries are holding up pretty well, actually. Um, yeah, they're, they're holding up pretty well. Obviously, we've got the ventilation going. But that's something we're going to have to use anyway. Electric engines, minus three. Gyro compass we could switch off, but um, we kind of need it. Um, so, yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how we go. I'll uh, I'll continue on, and hopefully we'll get somewhere. Uh, hi, guys. We just got some damage. Um, we must have hit something. We've got the engineers working on something there. Uh, right, let's get the, uh, the pumps going. I don't know what it was. We're nowhere near anyone. Got some. Uh, let's get the water out of that room as quickly as possible, please. He doesn't need anyone actually. Um, he yeah, needs a couple of people. Need a couple of people. That's fine. Got more water. How we do? We're, we're actually dropping like a stone. Erledigt. Schaden repariert. Almost, almost fix it, fix it, fix it, fix it. Uh, we're gonna have to stop. All stop. We're coming really shallow. Right, good. We fixed the uh, the damage. We can get the um the water pumped out now. There was an injured soldier somewhere or sailor somewhere. I don't know where he is. He's probably drowned under there. Who's this? This is the captain. Coming to inspect it. Right, we got all water out, please. Let's get water out of all these as best we can. Can we only select one room at a time? Pump is going. Yep, pump is going. These guys just standing around. Okay, well. How are we doing? We're, we're stable. We actually hit the bottom. We might have hit the bottom. If we haven't, yeah, I think we may have just... Fortunately, we stopped in time, so we've just um, gently come to um, a rest on the uh, the seabed. Uh, the captain is busy moving water about, which is great. So is um, Cola. Great. Okay, let's get these. West is busy working away, which is good. Pumps are going. Okay, I think we've recovered this one. Newman, why don't, why don't you do some... Uh... Oh, he's got his water on him. I don't, I, he's got his first aid kit on him. I don't want to take that off him, actually. Um, so he can hang around a bit. That's okay. Right. Water level is coming down. 
Um, how are we doing? So yeah, look, the warships are well. There's millions of them, as there have been for forever and a day. But we're almost <laughs> we're level with Gibraltar. This is not a place to get stuck. Um, repair completed. Well done, West. Well done. Right. I don't know what the repair was, but hi everyone, welcome back. We're making our way through. Look at this madness, absolute madness. Um, we got here. It's six o'clock in the morning. We are dangerously low of quality air. We have dangerously low um energy from the batteries. So we're going to have to um we're blatting to try and get a bit of distance before we we surface. We got a propeller group, but I'm guessing because this is blue, it might be. A cargo ship. So we're going to risk coming up to um, decks awash and hopefully we can get the hatch open to get some fresh air in for one. And then if it's all clear, wechseln auf Dieselmotor. Yeah, we can um, get the old uh, engines running. So fresh air is coming in, which is the important thing. We can switch the. Uh, Oh god, look, look, straight away, he's smoking. Wilhelm is still haunting our boat. Wolf, what are you doing, man? <laughs> Brilliant. Oh, it wouldn't be the same without that guy haunting up. Right, we'll switch that off. Actually, switch it off. Oh, sorry, cancel. Just switch it off, please. We've used all our uh, filters to um, get the oxygen scrubbed. Please, can we turn that off? West, where are you? There he comes. There, thank you. Bloody hell. Good stuff, right. Um, so oxygen is going up all the time, which is fantastic. Uh, diesel is coming down, batteries are recharging. Good. So we're going to run at decks of wash now. Um, look at that. Potentially, we've made it through the Strait of Gibraltar. First time, every time. Is Wilhelm Wolf? He's been injured. Too much smoking on the conning tower, probably. Depth charge once again. Leak fixed. Okay. Oh no! Somebody's just been blasted out of the boat. Who's that? How did that happen? Okay then, in all honesty, it wasn't the, exactly the first time that we attempted to go through the Straits of Gibraltar. It was probably the sixth or seventh time we finally got through. But, you know, uh, let's be honest, I, I, I sh I'll be full, fully transparent for you guys. It did take us a while to get through there. Um, but we made it. We made it eventually. Um, reloading a few times to get through the Straits of Gibraltar. But we made it. So, but... That just goes to show how much of an absolute nightmare the Strait of Gibraltar is for a U-boat at this time of the war, or any time of the war, really. To get through that was uh, to the point I was about to quit. That's how bad it was. Um, but we've made it so far. So um, we're going to continue on to um, our new port. Ba uh, fuel's coming down, which is not a problem. Battery's already recharged. Oxygen is... Um, uh, we're blue light, so we've got the sun running going, but that's fine. Uh, and morale is on the up because we're doing okay. Right, you can head to bed, sunshine, because you're tired. Uh, okay, you've gone wait. to bed. Them two are doing okay. Good. Right. Uh, we sent to the map. Let's have a look at the boats. Uh, anything we need to do? Everything's looking grand. Everything's looking groovy. Something nagging me that I need. Oh, here we go. Yeah, we need to do the uh, the air deployment. So, um, we just switch the diesel compressor on just to get the uh, the air up, and we should be we should be laughing. Compressed air reserves down six percent. Yep, get that done. Uh, so we're gonna there you go. It's on now. Brilliant. We're gonna make our way. I'll see you in a little while. And boom, we're in. Excellent. All stop. Bloody hell, we made it. We made it, boys. 
We made it to La Spezia. Let's go to the leading officer to report in. Send the old Capitaine. Where's he going? Is he off? Welcome to your new flotilla. How can I help you? Assignment complete. We are generally impressed by the scope and success of your assignment. First time as well. Yes, indeed. We wish you all and your crew all the best. Headquarters. Ten days, eight hours. Oh, it's felt like a lifetime. An absolute lifetime to get here. But 40,000 budget and 100%. Oh, and a quick um, snare drum as well. Um, Admirals from the order. Um, my crew could use a break. That's probably true. Uh, let's ask for a favor. Uh, so specialized, increase the officer limit by one to six. Obviously, we can't get that one yet because that's locked. Free roam, do what we like. Headquarters one opens up possibly of sending uh, officers on missions in headquarters. Allows two missions to be run simultaneously. Well, we've, already got, we've already got that one, as you can see. So uh, it's got to be specialized. Get another crew member or another officer on board. So we'll spend that. Um, and goodbye for now. Let's go and have a word with the uh, recruitment Kapitän, and see if they've got any engineers. Wagner! Wagner's available. Let's recruit. Right, we're going to quickly upgrade. We've got the radar which we can um, upgrade. Could that be from the listening room? Um, we've already got that, so that's not it. Uh, it's not from the hydrophone. Oh wait, hang on. Radar detector. Yes, it is. There you go. Three thousand five hundred. Install installed in nineteen hours. Excellent. Okay, brilliant. So that's on. We've got a radar detection, and we'll be able to go next time to do a little bit of Mare Nostrum hunting around the Mediterranean Sea. But for now, we've made it safely. First time of asking. How long can I keep drawing that one out? Uh, <laughs> to La Spezia in Italy. So we'll go here and sort of cause mayhem around the Mediterranean going forward. This is actually quite nice because we've been going around the Atlantic on the previous games of this. But this tour, with a new build, we're going to go around the Mediterranean and hopefully stay within the Mediterranean. I don't fancy leaving here now. It was too much like hard work. Um... Good. We'll leave it there. Thanks so much for watching. Hope you're enjoying this. If you are, if you want to see some more, hit that thumbs up, hit that like button, share with all your friends. And if you haven't already, hit that subscribe button and tickle the bell to get all the latest notifications to your feed. Good. Thanks for watching. Take care. I'll see you next time.